Hello friends, in the previous videos, we have seen how to draw the scatter plots, line graphs, right? in the context of, in what context, what graph should be used, right, and how matplotlib will help us to do so. In the coming videos, we will be studying about bar graphs and pie charts. Then we will proceed to histograms. So let's try upon first bar graphs, right? So these two are the same libraries which I keep on using. I will not type it again. I will copy paste. Okay, next. So let me define some X and Y. I should be able to plot uh, X and Y. Say suppose, I will say, x is equal to np dot array then i'll say i will give some uh, population of uh, some different states right let me say karnataka how should i give that i should be able to give it in uh, Double quotes. Karnataka. I'll say for Andhra Pradesh, I'll write AP. Then for Tamil Nadu, I will say TN. Then for Telangana, I'll say TG. Sorry, TG. Uh, so this was my X variable. So next is I will say Y is equal to NP dot array. Say I will say percentage of literacy in uh, particular states. These values are random and uh, it doesn't have any relation with actual values okay i'm just saying 85 oh, sorry 65 i typed 65 then 68 89 then it uh, is us so once you are done with this, now how do I use uh, instruction is plt dot. So if you remember like we had used plt dot plot in this case. Now in this case we will use plt dot. In this case we will use plt dot bar. B A R. Right. What is that I want to plot? I want to plot x comma y. Then I will use plt dot show. Let's see how we can work out with this. This is how it looks. So Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu and uh, Telangana, right? So similarly, uh, I can write the pie chart as well right how do i do pie chart say suppose i will use it for same uh, values plt dot so whenever i'm using pie chart i will say pi of y right then i'll say plt dot show You can see a pie chart here, right? So in this video, we studied about how to use the data and plot the bar graph as well as pie chart. Now, what I expect you in, to do in the form of a short assignment is 
okay how we garnished the grass here in the previous video okay learn that garnishing i should be able to see these numbers say example 65 karnataka i should be able to print it here okay 68 here then 89 86 like that how i can generate the templates in the graph in the excel sheet i should be able to do similarly here as well and as you should try to giving a labels to this pie chart okay please try all those um, whatever is being learned in the previous video of garnishing the graphs please apply on this and try out okay hope you enjoyed the video okay see you in next video on histograms